passion comes second. Find your moments first. It's a very um, kind of interesting topic. So I've been watching Master Chef Junior with uh, Gordon Ramsay, and it's just kind of inspired me a little bit. Um, one, I love to cook, but two, watching these little kids. I mean, they're nine to like thirteen, and I think a couple of them were actually eight, um, and they're making like world class. <laughs> Um, recipes and delivering them and these high pressure scenarios and it just it kind of really got me kind of thinking where is it that in adults that we get away from this you know we how many of us you know have been doing a job for so many years and we've just totally lost all passion is that because of the job or is it because how we think about the job and we were kind of going through some of this and we've got this whole aspect of competing with the Joneses and if you're spending all your time and money to compete with somebody else about something that really doesn't matter to you so you you spend your time making money the money to purchase stuff that you don't want that stuff ends up owning you is costing you more money and this just awful cycle and money is kind of um, stored potential energy right it needs to flow but spending it on on stuff that we don't need and that doesn't bring us happiness, what is that really getting us other than more stress? And I was kind of thinking about this compared to the Master Chef Junior, where these little kids have just, they're bursting with energy and they're excitement and just ready to go. And like, how do we get back to that as adults? And how to inspire you know, our children for later, um, how to do it themselves. So I was just kind of thinking about more. And you know, when I was in high school, uh, two of my main passions were like scuba diving, the Renaissance Fair, and blacksmithing, falconeer. But those were um, kind of discouraged early on because of the old motto of, you know, get good grades, go to college, get good grades there, work hard, get a good job, and eventually save money and retire, which is fine. Um, but that also kind of crushed those little things because not doing them um, kind of taught a path of, well, that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to do what makes you money rather than finding passion in everything you do regardless. So, you know, these parents of these kids, I mean, the amount of encouragement they're giving them to follow their curiosity in, there's an old saying in Greece, um, uh, passion or, uh, wisdom, of course, not, I'm not going to remember, but it's like uh, curiosity is the beginning of wisdom. There we go. Um, and I think that's also passion as well as wisdom. Because if whatever our curiosity is, those are those little moments. Um, have you ever had a moment where you've just kind of lost all reality or all sense of time and awareness, that feeling of almost elation? That's a moment of passion. And in those moments, document what it is that's causing those moments if we can find each of those moments and start journaling about them every single day um, we can start building our passion up because those little moments are the triggers for passion that's why it's passion comes second because the moments are really what's driving it if we can figure out what's causing those moments then we can build those moments into what we're doing in every day um, so part of it is we can use meditation um, by focusing our breath, focusing on bringing in the present moment, we can kind of get rid of all these distractions. Um, you know, TV, cell phone uh, is just pulling us in a million other directions. And if we're getting pulled in so many directions, we lose what we're, um, what we're having inside of us. So it, by kind of bringing ourselves back to the present moment, we can then re-realize what is giving us those moments and those uh, passions. So journaling, mindfulness um, are two ways to kind of bring us back to it. And once we have those moments, we can start building those moments up in whatever we're doing, whether it ends up in a career change or just in our day-to-day -day routine. Um, since I started doing this, you know, my daily job has you know, kind of blossomed. I found um, enjoyment back in my work. For a while there, I was kind of lost. But now that I've been doing this more and more, um, you can really find passion in anything that you're really doing. 
So, hope this inspires you a little. Let me know what your passion is, and if you need help with that, be more than happy to teach some meditation techniques and following your passion, following the moments, help you journal. So, hope you have a great day.